Hi and welcome to the last video in the playlist on translating a shape on a graph by a vector. Okay, so in the previous two examples, um, we looked at translating a shape A, it was a triangular shape, and we moved it by a vector. And this is just the final one, just to give you a final kind of exam paper type question that you're going to get. Okay, and what they would normally say is that this is shape A, you know, it's a slightly awkward shape, and they do that kind of quite deliberately, really. Um, it just makes it a little bit trickier to see, but they want you to try translate, so if I put translate, okay, shape A, and they're going to give you a vector, let's say this is going to be minus 4 and we'll call it 3, okay, minus 4, 3. So you might remember from the previous videos that this minus 4 relates to the x-axis, which is the movement along the x-axis. And then this uh, bottom number relates to the movement along the y-axis, which is this one here. Okay, so this is x, uh, this is y, this is x, and this is y. Okay, so when we're looking at this particular uh, type of question, the thing you have to be really careful of is you need to be quite precise in the way that you do things. And it's not always that easy. Sometimes they will draw the graph kind of awkwardly, really, and just make it a little bit trickier for you. So the, uh, the tip I'm going to give you is to always do it by points. And what I mean by that is that ignore the shape entirely and just choose one of the corners, one of the vertices on the shape, and then use that and make sure you get the translation correct. Okay, so we're going to move along the x-axis, just this point, by minus 4. So what's going to happen is I'm going to move it along minus 4, which will take me to, let's say, about there, and then I'm going to move it up. 3, so it's going to go up 3 to something like, say, about there. So this point has gone minus 4 in this direction and then 3 in this direction. Okay, now I am using this as a very specific example because I have seen students get a little bit confused with these and expect this particular shape to end up down here or over here or something. It's not going to. Okay, so you've got to follow the rules where it gives you specific instructions because that's how they differentiate between kind of A and A star type students' answers um, and students who perhaps have got a general idea but they don't follow the rules. Okay, so it's going to go along minus four and then up three. I'm going to do exactly the same one with this point here. It's going to go along minus four, and then it's going to go up three. So it's going to end up something like about that. Okay. And then I choose another point along minus four, up three, it's going to end up like that. Along minus four and up three, it's going to end up like that. And what you'll end up with is all of these points you've then translated by the vector it's given you. And then it's just simply a case of uh, drawing the lines to connect them and labeling the shape. And generally it will say label the shape B or C or something like that. Okay, so that's uh, an answer to the kind of question you're gonna get at probably around about B grade, something like that, of translating a shape by a vector with a negative number in it. I hope it's been helpful to you. Please do like, comment, subscribe, and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.